We are in the middle of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and we found on the internet a lot of questions about that trash island floating in the middle of the ocean. So today we're trying to answer some of those questions. My name is Helen and I work on the research team at the Ocean Cleanup. And my name is Laurent, I'm the head of research at the Ocean Cleanup and we study plastic pollution. What do I get? Um, hey, Helen, isn't there a floating island of trash somewhere in the middle of the ocean? There is no floating island of trash. Um, most of the places where there are large accumulations of floating plastic debris look pretty similar to what's behind us. Um, you're not necessarily going to see a huge mound of trash that you can that you can walk on. It's I do like the I do like the visual of a plastic soup though. That's also what I tell yeah. people is that it's more. It's less of an island and more of a stew, a, a plastic stew, um, out here floating, sort of dispersed, but definitely still an accumulation zone of, of plastic. If this garbage patch is three times the size of France, why can't we see this continental-sized plastic island? Yeah, no, that's a really good question. Well, again, there is no floating island, right? What we say is this accumulation area where that we estimate is about three times the size of France is looking like this, basically. Now, that looks like the ocean, but when you look closer, there's a bunch of little particles and some random objects floating um, all over this area. So that's why we just cannot see it as, you know, a giant pile of trash. Uh, this is just an accumulation zone where we find just more plastic than anywhere else on Earth in the ocean. If it was a trash island, probably it'd be easier to clean it up because we could just go out there with some crane and just remove that trash. Uh, the problem is like far more complex because plastic is dispersed over a very large area. Therefore, it is really hard to go and, and clean. We cannot go with a boat and pick up every little piece of plastics from the ocean, right? That would just like take for, for decades. And so that's why at the Ocean Cleanup, we are developing those uh, cleanup systems that are trying to concentrate that plastic disperse over a very large distance. And once, once that plastic is concentrated enough, we can actually remove it from the ocean. I have a question. Why do we have landfills and islands of trash in the ocean when we can just throw everything in a volcano and have it turn into lava <laughs> and do that whole rock cycle thing? Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, why did we think about that? <laughs> I mean, you know, if you put plastic, if you burn plastic or if you put plastic in, let's say, a volcano, uh, it is likely going to emit a lot of greenhouse gases and a lot of um, chemicals, nasty chemicals into the atmosphere. And we also have another issue called global warming. So this is definitely not a uh, you know, viable solution, I would say. And good luck to bring all that trash up in Volcano and do it safely. Yeah, I'm not hiking up there with you. How do they end up in the ocean if someone leaves it on the street or forest? Plastic ends up in the ocean uh, from land through a few different ways, but um, one of the most common ways and one that we've been researching as well is transport through river systems. So um, from city streets or something, it'll end up in a, uh, in a canal system or in just a river system um, and then sort of flow out with the, with the river flow uh, into the ocean and from there be taken by different currents um, and end up where these currents converge in the open ocean, like in the North Pacific subtropical gyre. Um, as for forests, we hope that there isn't much plastic in, in forests. It'll be harder for it to get out to the ocean from there, but I wouldn't be surprised if a plastic bag gets picked up by wind or, you know, a bird. Plastic has been found in the desert when it's in, in camel stomachs. Um, yeah, definitely, like, ingestion of plastic by animals is one way for it to be transported um, across land and in the ocean, of course. Plastic, um doesn't always come from land sources. A lot of it also comes from uh, marine sources and particularly fishing. And that's something we find a lot here in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's uh, fishing gear. So fish nets and some crates and buoys and, and fish traps and all sorts of things. And they're very common objects here all around us. 
it makes sense, right? Because it's like that's the industry that mm. operates out here. Yes. That's what exists, you know, this far away from other human activity. That is true. Um, yeah. Plastic, yeah, that comes from fishing activities, like will be transported to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch much more easily than plastic coming from rivers that tends to go back to coastline. And, and it's made of marine grade material yeah, normally. More too. resistant. Like the buoys yeah. and the fishing nets are yeah, super resistant to whatever weathering factors are coming out here. I've been hearing about this for years, but I've never actually seen it. How does the density of plastic in this area compare to any other area in the ocean? Well, um, that's a really good question. This is probably the, um, at the surface of the ocean, this is the area where we have the highest concentration of plastic permanently. Uh, there are some places in the ocean where you can have more plastic at the surface of the ocean, but this is transient, meaning like next to rivers, for instance, you would have, if there is a big flux of, uh, flux of plastic coming out of rivers, you may have really high concentration, but that plastic will disperse. Um, the garbage patches, this one is one of five, are areas that accumulate plastic over time, and no matter the year or the season you come uh, into it, uh, you will always find um, you know, persistent plastic uh, concentration here. So here we estimate about you know, a million pieces of little bits of plastics per square kilometers, concentration between 10 to 100 kg kilograms of plastics per square kilometers. Um, that's a big number, but when you think about it, um, you know, that brings it back to one pieces per square meter. So, you know, a little piece of plastic per square meter. Now, the thing, it's a huge ocean, so once you, like, you know, get all of this together, that's a huge pile of trash, trash island. Why isn't there any satellite image of the plastic island? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Look at the sky, it's too cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're actually trying on, uh, on this research mission that we're out on right now to, uh, to get some satellite imagery of um, some of the bigger plastic, plastic accumulations, like the big ghost nets. Um, we'll see, it's, it's tricky because you have to time it right. Uh, the satellites are very far away, so the plastic has to be pretty big uh, for the satellite to pick it up. But once again, I think the plastic here in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is too dispersed. Uh, it's all about like little pieces, trillions of little pieces just dispersed over millions of square kilometers. So you cannot really see that uh, with the current satellite missions. Um, but there are scientists that are working on like new missions in the next few years trying to, to dedicate mission to, to detect plastics from space. Uh, but um, once again, there is no, there is no trash island. Uh, and so we cannot see it from space because we cannot even see it from here. We keep joking about this island of trash that's floating in the ocean, but what are we doing about it? Yeah, what are we doing about it? What are we doing, doing about it? About it well, first we've been studying for that um, accumulation zone that we call the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now the thing is, this is not an island of trash. I mean, we've said that already, but I think it's good to repeat it. Um, I think there's few things we can do about it. First, you know, we. Uh, here at the Ocean Cleanup, we're trying to, to, to remove that waste from, from the ocean. So we try to, to get rid of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. But obviously, we don't want more plastic to enter the ocean uh, in the future, right? Because we don't want to be the garbage man of the ocean forever, right? So we want to get out of business. And that's really important. So what do we do about it? Like, let's make sure that we stop putting plastic in the ocean in the first place. And then for the plastic that is already there, um, let's try to remove as much as possible uh, before it breaks down into smaller bits and pieces that will be nearly impossible to remove in the future. And whoa, it's moving a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! Well, yeah, thanks for listening. If you do have any more questions, we'd love to hear them, uh, either in the comments or shoot us an email. And um, yeah, from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, this is Helen and Laurent signing off. Bye!